My name is Matthew Fleury. I'm city councilor for the best part of our city. It includes Lower Town, Sandy Hill, and Vanier. My role is every day to be the liaison between residents, between businesses, and what happens at the city. The interface between residents and the city are, are multi-pronged. You get up in the morning, you turn on the lights, it's the city. You turn on your, your tap for water, you flush your toilet, you walk on a sidewalk, you take the bus. I represent Lower Town, which also includes the Byron Market. It's the most concentrated spots of small businesses. So the renewal of that asset in the Byward Market, the public spaces in the Byward Market, housing being top of mind, right? I'm chair of Ottawa Community Housing. We're the largest landlord in our city. I also have in my community, the three large shelters. In the Byron Market, we have an asset where the city started really. It's the oldest part of our city. It's grown organically over the years, being a if you go back in history, it was a farmer's market and, and people used to come daily to pick up fresh produce. Obviously that's changed with farmer's markets being wherever you live in our city and, and grocery stores being readily accessible in all neighborhoods. In my community, we're the community that uses most financial assistance when it comes to city programming. And financial assistance is a really good program. It's called Hand in Hand, but it has its limitations. So a family, uh, let's say let's say a single parent, you can go and get really affordable uh, swimming lessons where you pay 25% of the overall cost. But because there's a limit of how much money the city covers over time, it allows you to do, let's say, three months of swimming lessons throughout the year. Well, guess what? There's still the majority of the year remaining. Same thing for summer camps, right? So that's one window. You know, most financial assistance program use citywide is my in my area. There's uh, the Boys and Girls Club, which is an example of a program. They're at capacity in my area now. Their, their clubhouse has no more capacity. So that's another, another indication to me that, hey, there's some shortfalls there. So that's to me another indicator of, of financial needs. Students, one of the challenges that I'm posing to you is really how can you be involved in your community? From my perspective, we have an issue of opening up our schools, opening up our programming, our recreation programming, our pools, our arenas. What can we do so that every youth in our city that wants to physically be active or participate in sport can do so in their own neighborhood? If you're interested in learning more about me, I invite you to follow me on all the platforms. It's basically the name on the screen. So Mathieu Fleury, you'll find me on, on Insta, on Facebook, on Twitter, and I'm now on TikTok.